Triple D 366 with Whipsy and the Lost Atlas. Hey guys, I'm MOD366, uh, commonly referred to as Mod um, because it's just shorter. Um, I'm joined by the wonderful Steve TV Online. Hello everyone, we're excited to be here. And this is Whipsy and the Lost Atlas, a rather short um, platformer that came out last, well, two years ago uh, now, in 2019. And um, yeah, <clears throat> time starts as soon as I hit play here, which I will do in three, two, one. Go. So we have a 26 second intro, uh, which just shows us Alex, uh, that's his name. Um, he's sucked into a book, that is the Lost Atlas, and transfer, uh, transformed in this creature that looks awfully familiar. Um, you may tell us in a donation or two uh, what he looks familiar to. We get a whip and that's why we are called Whipsy. And with that whip, we can uh, attack, we have a hover, and that's basically it. Um, and yeah, we run through six levels. Uh, the first one is the hardest of them all, which makes no sense at all, but hey. Well, and... well it's, not, it's not just this level. This game may look super simple to you, but a mod makes this out to be like, it's a very hard game that he makes look super easy. Well, the hard part is not really the game, apart from the first two stages. Uh, the other stages are rather simple. The worst part is the controls. Um, so, we've heard about Coyote Time. Yeah, nothing here. If you are just uh, one pixel off the edge, you fall. And since the hover is the same key as the, uh, as the jump, you just slowly fall due to your hover. Um, um. So... Yeah. We were also, Mod and I are also going to, uh, every marathon that this, that uh, Mod gets us into, we do uh, donations for every time that he dies, and there's going to be a boss later on that um, every time that he blocks, he is going to donate for. So um, if somebody, if uh, chat wants to match the donations, uh, please do so. Yeah, so um, for every death, I'm going to donate $5. And for every block on the third boss, um, I donated uh, an additional $2. So if someone wants to count, especially those blocks, uh, and maybe tell us in a donation uh, how much it was, uh, then yeah, please remind us. So this is the first boss. Uh, he's rather simple. Uh, he has two attacks, uh, those two bubbles, and uh, he can electrocute itself. Uh, which I hope, uh, which I hope it doesn't do. It does, okay. Uh, but we do have time for a donation here. Absolutely, we have a hundred dollars from Kojiro. They said, "Hello, AGDQ. Hello there, AGDQ. I've been watching these events for quite a while now, and I'm finally in a position where I can spare some money. Glad to see Mod on the big stage as well." Thanks, Koji. So uh, what I did there at the end of the boss fight is, well, okay, that happens sometimes. Uh, what I did there, I was um, exiting to title uh, because that skips the end of boss animation and is just about uh, 20 seconds faster over the whole run. So um, that's what I'm gonna, uh, gonna do after every boss. And this was actually just found recently uh, as yeah. a time series, wasn't it? Yeah, um, basically, oh, come on. Okay, this room is cursed. Wow. Yeah, it's absolutely cursed. Well, no real problem here. We get some help in the net, uh, on the next screen. So it's fine, come on. My jumps don't wanna work. Thank you. So, um, as you might have seen, the enemies that I killed drop gems. Uh, they always drop three gems, one of which can be a large blue one. The large blue one will heal us for one health um, if we need it. Um, unless we are on just a single health left, uh, that's a bug, then it doesn't heal. Um, and even though there has been an update, that wasn't fixed, unfortunately. Uh, it's a bit annoying, but hey. Uh, here is a tree that we want to quickly cr uh, climb, and I, of course, jumped into an enemy. Um, we can cancel the knockback with hovering, which is nice. And um, there was a jump mentioned in the chat uh, before the run. Um, you can jump that first cliff um, without using the logs. 
It saves about two and a half seconds, but I can't do it. It's pixel and frame perfect, and I just can't do it. So this, <laughs> this boss is even easier than the first one. Um, and yeah, we do have time for some donations. Absolutely, we've got a couple good ones here. From Air Decay, we have $25, and it reads, hey -o, looking forward to that Whipsy Run By mod. Congratulations on getting in, my dude. Tell you what, I'll either donate $5 per death or $50 for a deathless run, or $100 for beating my PB. No pressure. Yeah, no pressure at all from the world record holder, but thanks, DK. <laughs> And and he just got that recently too, within the past week or two. Though. Yeah, um, it, it's like uh, he saw last week that I had this run on the marathon, um, and he's the one that showed it to me um, in 2019, um, or he showed it on his stream, and he talked about how bad the controls are, and they really are bad. And I was like, hey, I, I can deal with bad controls. Let's. Um, run this game and create the leaderboard and yeah that's what i did uh, because of that he started running this game last week um and on his second day uh it, pretty much six hours into him starting running this game he got world record the first time um then i beat his world record the day after and then he um well he tested that strat with going back to title and uh yeah he found out that that's a whole lot of uh, faster and that's yeah that's why we do it now um so he was the first with a sub 12 minute time uh, with an 11:52, which is the current world record um i managed to get my own um sub 12 time with 11:58 just two days ago but i don't think i'm going to manage sub 12 here oh yeah it's not like that wow my controls are a bit off, not sure why. And here we need to count the blocks. So yep. uh, you can block starting at half health. So yeah, let's see. One, One two, two, three, 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 three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, nine, nine blocks, nine. okay. I can deal with nine blocks. So that's 18 bucks already. Let's see if I die anywhere. Um, oh, and one final thing um, that I just came up with yesterday, uh, because it happened a lot yesterday. Um, the last boss teleports around, uh, around the room. And um, if he kills you by teleporting right into you, or kills you by teleporting right into you and um, then tossing you into a lava pit that's in that room. Uh, we call that a telefrag. And if you telefrags me, I do an additional $5 for that death. I hope it doesn't happen. But that boss hates me, so yeah. And now I hope we do have a lot of donations because here comes a literal donation train. And we're one minute auto-scroller, so please go ahead. And we got plenty of donations to fill that train. Uh, from Brain, we have $25, they read, Hey Mod, this is Brain speaking to you. Brother, give your best. We all together can fight cancer. And after you are done playing video games, I would like to remind you we have a lot of work left for you over here. 24-7 forever. Wish you best of luck. Thanks, man. And from Slowest Poke, we have $50. They say, Hello Mod, Slowest Poke here. Glad to see you running on the big stage. Go fast and don't miss any blocks. Greetings from Germany. Donations go to Mod's Choice. Well, that would be the uh, SM64 blindfolded run. Um, so I do want to see that. We also have $15 from Kabarak that says, I was around when Whipsy World Record was set and I wish Mod good luck on his run. This donation goes to his choice. Thanks, man. Yeah, so um, here I did not know at first that that jump was possible, but hey. Um, so this, so one of this boss right here, he's going to try for 7572. Yeah, that's that should... 26. <laughs> I, I was late on the first jump. Um. And that was only four, damn it. But we got the boxing glove and not the rocket, so that's a bit shorter for the time between. Oh, come on, block my attack, why don't you? Okay. 
That was Aaron. one of the slowest fights I ever got here. But hey, it works. And I forgot to skip to title. Yay. Another time loss. <laughs> so, no, no world record here. But okay, still so. So after the game was released, I wasn't part of the. I've, I've played the. I've speedrun this game a couple of times. I will probably never be as good as Mod. Every community that I'm in with him, uh, he's better than me. But uh, anyway, uh, I was not part Just of the. Just wait until I start Carter. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, this was actually not part of the game originally. They actually yeah. added this in. For uh, for a DLC like or an update, it was a free update, so they just added in this level to it. Yeah, and yeah. this is um, one of the easiest levels in the game. Um, those guys in the spacesuits uh, have a 50% hitbox, which means the hitbox is there only 50% of the time, um, and that's no joke. You you stand in front of them, you hit, the first hit will hit. The, sec uh, the next hit on one of those will not hit, but the third one will, from the exact same position. Uh, here, this is the quote-unquote boss. Um, we just hit both of them six times and we're done. That's not a boss fight. So, so, uh, so one thing about the, him exiting out do, uh, early out of the level is he has to make sure that the saving idle card shows up down at the bottom, otherwise he yep. has to start the entire level over. Yeah, if, if I do that too soon, then um, the oh, the level progression wasn't saved and I have to restart the level, uh, which I don't want to do. So, uh, wow. Oh, there's So a much for Deathless. So much for Deathless. Damn it. That wasn't eaten input. I did hit the jump button, but hey, it's fine. It happens. No $50 from DK, though, which kind of bums me out, but hey. So, uh, this stage is all movement. You don't have to think, you just have to move. And um, the boss, however, <laughs> is the greatest RNG monster ever. Yeah, most of the bosses in here um, have a slight bit of RNG except for the last boss that we had. But this one, this is where all of our RNG comes into play. He can yeah. do three. He can do three different moves and teleport to like seven different places in the entire place. Um, he can teleport yeah. away from you. He can summon out these uh, the the balls of light. He can bring uh, the uh, skeletons away, and then he can oh, summon. Oh, that's a good pattern. The lightning. That's and a really good pattern. Nice. Time is coming up. Time is coming up, and it's time. Time. Wow, that was a really good pattern. Uh, I didn't hit him as much as I wanted to before his attacks, but hey, I didn't get telefrag, which was really nice. He did teleport uh, into me though, uh, so you saw what can happen. And yeah, where he teleports is random. Uh, the first three attacks are fixed, that he does them in that order. After that, it's totally random which attack he does. So yeah, it's just hell, hell on earth. Anyway, um, thanks for having me, and I got told Steve has some final words. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this charity event is for Prevent Cancer Foundation. It's a fantastic charity. Um, my grandmother passed away six years ago to, uh, uh, to cancer. Uh, the year before that, my great uncle passed away from, uh, lung cancer. Last year, my grandfather passed away to, uh, Answer. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it was. And then uh, just in December, I had another family relative die of cancer. So uh, this charity is really special to me. So uh, all the money that we're raising, I'm so glad I got to actually participate in this one, particularly because of how close to home this charity hits. Uh, so please, please, please. Uh, donate to this charity. It's an amazing charity that uh, helps out everybody. So, um, yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to say. This charity is amazing. Uh, GBQ is amazing for all of us. Yeah, it is. It totally is. So, thanks for having me, and um, good luck on uh, to all the other runners.
All right, thank you for that great run, Mod. We have quite a few donations coming in. Let's read a couple now. We have a $10 donation from Inani Moose that reads, Whipsy looks like Corsola the Pokemon and Kirby had a baby? And Blue Green Mikey donates $20 and saying, This clearly is not Whipsy or Kirby. It is obviously a pink version of the legendary Starfy. And we have $25 from Jake. They're saying, sending love to everyone for their hard work making AGDQ happen. We got a lot more runs coming up, including the right any percent run. But first, we're going to be back after these quick messages. And welcome back to Awesome Games Done Quick 2021 online, powered by Twitch. We have the right any percent run by Lyncher coming up shortly. Just as an update on our incentives here, for the Snow Mountain Sprint in Inertial Drift, we are still at about just over $1,800 for that one. We need $3,500 to make that goal met. If that goal is met, the Snow Mountain Sprint Duel will be won by the runner, Sean A. So 
sorry, just just a correction earlier. Uh, the right one is on a bit of a hold right now due to technical issues. But we are going to move right on ahead to Demolition Man crazed, excuse me, crazed percent by Talia One. Sorry about that. We are now ready 